Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my Porsche. Today we're gonna talk about vocabulary associated with driving cars and I'm gonna teach you words that describe the inside of the car and outside of the car. So first of all, when I'm in my car, I wanna start it. And I start it by putting my key into the ignition. And um, in this particular model, I also need to press the brake pedal. With the brake pedal, you stop the car. So I press the brake pedal, put my key into the ignition and start the car. This thing is called the steering wheel and I use it to turn left and to turn right. This thing here is called the stick shift and I use it to either park my car, to drive or to drive backwards. The thing is, this car has automatic transmission. This means that the speed changes automatically. So what I do here, I press the brake pedal again and I put this stick shift into the drive mode. And this way, when I take my leg off the brake pedal, the car starts moving. But we're not gonna move because we're gonna talk about other things that we can see here in the car. Moved a little. So to prevent this kind of moving, there is also another brake that this car has. It's called emergency brake. And uh, in Porsches, it's right here on the left. But in some cars, there's an additional handle that you can engage. And this is called emergency brake candle. Now, everything that's right here is called the dashboard and uh, it has different gauges. So it has diesel gauge, for example, because this car runs on diesel. It has speedometer uh, that shows the speed. It also has the screen and all the buttons. So you can turn on the air conditioning. You can turn on the radio. You can turn on whatever you're connecting, maybe an iPhone or whatever. Another thing that we have here, this glass in front of me is called windshield in the US and uh, if it's raining there are wipers I can also use wipers just to clean my windshield this mirror is called rear view mirror and I also have a rear view camera so whenever I'm driving backwards I can use either the rear view mirror or the rear view camera when you have a glass roof it's actually called a moon roof in your car so I don't know, well, we can guess where this word is coming from. Moonroof is that, is when you just uh, lay down and enjoy the moon uh, just by being in your car and looking upwards. So this is called moonroof. Let's talk about something non-technical. So this is a cup holder. We actually have two cup holders, but we use it for hand sanitizer and for bubble gum. We also have a so-called glove compartment. Again, we don't have any gloves there. We have a CD, we have a face cream, and we have some documents uh, that relate to this Porsche. By the way, some Americans say Porsche, which I think is really wrong because the car is produced in Germany and in Germany you say Porsche. If you press in the middle of the steering wheel, and I'm only gonna do it once because we're in a residential neighborhood. Here we go. This is called horn. Horn. Whenever you're driving, please make sure you're wearing a seat belt. So you can wear a seat belt. The process of putting the seat belt on is called tightening the seat belt. So with this button, you activate emergency lights and all the lights start blinking. And then if you want to open the window, you press the button that is called window power and the window goes down. In the same way, it goes up. This thing is called a visor. A visor protects driver's eyes from direct sunlight. And this one also has a mirror and a light. So if we wanna start driving, I need to press the gas pedal. By the way, this is the passenger seat. This is the driver's seat. Now let's talk a little about what we have outside of our car. So here we have our door and we have the door handle that helps us open and close the door. This is our side mirror. So if you're a driver and you look at the side mirror, you see what's happening on the left side of your car. Now my car also has a car seat for the baby and it's a rear facing car seat because whenever Emily's here she's facing rear and for all the infants and all the small babies you have to have a rear facing car seat in the US. 
This is my car's trunk and I can open it by pressing this button on the key. Welcome to the trunk. It's actually empty. I like when my car is empty. I like to have a lot of free space here. And I'm closing it. <laughs> this right here is called a license plate. In California, you're required to have two license plates, one in the back and one in the front. They also give us these stickers that certify that we have paid our taxes and fees this year. Of course, every car has four wheels. We have the wheel itself. This is the whole construction, but the black rubber thing here is a tire. Sometimes that happened to me actually three times in my life. You have a flat tire. So whenever you hit something with your tire and it goes flat, like then it's called a flat tire and then you just have to go to a car shop to fix it. Now here we have our gas tank. So I come to the gas station, I fuel my car and I close it. Every car has a lot of lights. So we're going to start with a brake light. This light lights whenever the car is braking. We also have indicator lights that lit whenever the headlight is on. I'm going to show you the headlights. So they indicate that the car is here. Then we have signal lights that start flashing whenever we're turning right or left. Now here we also have fog lights uh, that lit when the weather conditions are poor. For example, when it's raining or when it's snowing and you want just this extra attention for people who are driving behind you. Here we also have exhaust pipes. So whenever you're driving, whenever the car is activated, whatever the car is producing is coming from these pipes. And uh, we also have a spare tire. It's in the trunk, but some cars would have it here underneath. Here in the front of the car, we have our hood and uh, the engine is there. All the technical details are there. We also have our headlights and here they have two modes. We can have our headlights in the high beam mode when it's very dark outside and we can't see. And there is also a low beam mode. In the US, for example, we're required to have our headlights on the low beam mode when we're driving in the evening. Now here we also have, guess the name. I really like the name because it, it really reminds me of a grill. This is called the radiator grill. Here we have a front plate and our bumper. This is our fog light. And this is our turn indicator light. And there is another indicator light on the side of our car. Now I'm gonna lock my car with my car key and uh, we're wrapping up our video guys. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, please make sure to download my workbook that has 1000 words in English that every English language learner needs to know. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video up to the very end. Subscribe to this channel and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.